Hello, Klaus here, and it's so lovely to see you back again here at the channel. And I hope you are having a pleasant day. So in this video, we'll have a look at the new adjustment clip inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. And what is it? How does it work? And is it useful to use? Let's figure that out right now. So let's go to the editing suite. Yeah. Okay, so here we are back in DaVinci Resolve 16 beta version 1. And uh, let's have a no look at the new adjustment clip, which can be found in the effects library under effects. Also, if you are doing fusion compositions, that has been moved from the generators until the effects. So just nice to know. So here we have the adjustment clip. We'll just drag that on top here. And we'll just make it the length of the video. So um, an adjustment clip is, um, if you have used Premiere before, you would know that they use adjustment layers. So it's the same thing. So the basic idea is that you could um, drag an effect. Uh, and, and instead of doing it to uh, the individual clips, you could do it to one clip. So if you wanted to make a lens blur, you would uh, make a lens blur and uh, it will be like that on all the clips. Okay, let's just remove that. So that's the basic of that. And it's a super fast way of um, making uh, adjustments fast but it also works um, not only with effects it also works in the color tab because the adjustment layer is now the v2 layer and that means that if you want to do a quick adjustments to or you want to give it a, a lot or something you can do that right inside of here or um, so for instance if you wanted to do an adjustment before um, to a lot of clips. You could either group them or you could go up to the clip and change it to timeline and then you could do like a Control S, I'll do a new note. You can do um, an adjustment to that, like overall adjustment, and it will now be on all the clips. Okay, I'll just uh, reset that note. Just go back to the clip view instead. So now with the adjustment layer changed, we can do the exact same thing. Warm up the clip, whatever we want. Uh, something like that. And now it will be on all the clips. Again, this is just one little new feature in DaVinci Resolve. It is super useful, I think. You have to get used to it, but um, yeah, it's nice to have this inside of the Vinci Resolve now. Anyway, I hope you found this super short video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.